Hey folks, JR with channel, <coughs> excuse me, JR with channel 13 in Asia. Uh, today's video is day four of the road trip, and it's once again vegan, vegan on our second day, um, and into the night. So uh, we did a horse and carriage tour around the city. Um, it's 200 pesos an hour. And uh, if you go on their regular tour, it's gonna gonna be at least uh, two and a half hours. They bring you to a few stops. They take you to a church and bell tower. Then they take you to um, a museum, which used to be a jail. It's pretty cool. It's got a nice photo exhibit in there. Um, and then they'll take you to another museum, and then they'll take you to a uh, kind of like a little market that you know selling souvenirs type stuff. So we didn't go to the second museum or the other one, so we finished up just under two hours. So 400 pesos gave the guy 500 pesos. He was very happy. Uh, you know it was hot, and we didn't we didn't want to go to another museum, so we just ended it there. Um, then later in the evening, went to the vegan market, um, and you know a lot of the vendors were closed up. Um, they, ha they actually do open to or stay open till six or seven. Uh, they open up at like four a.m. So if you come here, um, keep that in mind if you want to go early. Uh, we just wanted to walk around, check it out. We, we want to get get some bananas. <laughs> so. Uh, it's a pretty cool market. Um, the fruits and vegetables are on the second, and fish and meat are all on the second floor. Um, and then first floor is more like your dry goods and uh, clothes and stuff like that. So check that out. Uh, then we had dinner at Cafe Leone. Um, it's a very hyped up place here. It was okay. Huge menu. So I don't think they can prepare everything on a menu that big. And, you know, prepare it all great so that's kind of my like one of my rules with restaurants man if the menu's too big it's there's there's no possibility that the cooks can cook every single thing to perfection right so to, for me the smaller the menu the better but uh everything was all right not a bad place so show you that and then uh ended off with another slideshow of uh some photos i took uh, today around so Appreciate you guys hanging in there. Appreciate you guys watching. Uh, next stop is Pagud Pud. Pagud Pud. Uh, so that's Ilocos Norte. So almost the as high north as you can go in Luzon. So that's the next stop. So uh, one thing to keep in mind, the internet up here seems to be drastically slow. Um, it took me 20 hours to load the last video uh, so basically I you know I, I get it going and then I slept and then I woke up and it was still loading and so the video there may be a delay because uh, I have a feeling up north it's gonna be even worse so we'll see how it is I may hold the videos until we get back down to La Union or get actually home so we'll see all right so if there's a delay so if there's a delay you know why. All right. Appreciate you guys. We'll see you on the next video. Take care. JR with Channel 13 in Asia. This is uh, day two in vegan, day four on the road trip, I believe. And uh, about to ride this thing. This is the biggest, funniest looking dog I've ever seen. So we're about to ride, take a ride, bring you along. All right, let's go. This 
this little horse is moving, man. Got a whole bunch of them in there. These old carriage pretty cool. A lot of horses. A ton of them. Hopefully these guys get good water breaks. I don't want a uh, horse keeling over because of my, my big ass. All throughout here there's a uh, not a ton of restaurants but there's a decent amount right here to the left this is the uh, Capitol building vegan is the capital e loco sir I don't know how far we're going but it looks like we're going a decent decent amount Check out these lights on the bridge. This horse is working for his feed today. Can guarantee that. And bye. horse guy just dropped this off here it's like a church and a bell tower so I'm glad because uh, he said the ride was an hour I didn't want that horse to be lugging my big ass around for an hour you yeah. know I'm all about those guys making a living but I don't want to abuse that horse for an hour lugging 250 and 100 to so 350 pounds plus the driver but uh i guess they stop at a couple places have you go look around so there's a church and then right up here we're gonna go up here this is uh the bell tower i don't know how old that is but it looks pretty old we'll check it out Not too much in the uh, ornate department. It's kind of simple, but it's nice. All right, before the walls come crumbling down, let me get out of here. Let's go check out this bell tower. Here's the... Uh, Bell Tower since 1591. You guys reading that right? 1591. Hello, USA. 1776. All right, let's get sweaty. Use a little weed wagon. Come on, people. It's a historic site from 1591. Let's cut this grass. Tight. 
that was a tight squeeze. <coughs> the six foot two guy didn't bang his head, but the five foot two lady did. Here's your view. Beautiful mountains. Pan across. I don't know if you can hear my breathing. I need to get back on some running. There's some nice mangoes down there. You're looking up into the, the bell here. Ocean. I didn't realize uh, we were this close to the ocean. It's not that far away. Some decent sized houses over in here. Got you a white carabao down there. Or a cow. I guess that's more of a cow than a carabao. Alright, see you back on the bottom. Got out of another site, which is the uh, it's like a historic jail, and it's where uh, one of the presidents of the Philippines was uh, actually born. Uh, his dad worked there, I think he was like a warden, so he was born in that prison. And he was president from like 48 to 53. Uh, I can't recall the name, I'm horrible at remembering stuff, but uh, it's pretty cool inside. The museum, it's all free. Uh, there's a really nice photography exhibit in there. Uh, Ishima, I think is the name of the photographer. And it's all his photographs that he donated to the museum. And it's just uh, photographs from all over the Philippines. A lot of uh, food related, you know, like uh, people cooking fish, people cooking lechon, and showing the different fish and vegetables and how people cultivate rice and stuff like that so if you're up in this area I highly recommend that museum even if you don't do one of these uh, horse tours uh, if you do the horse tour then that'll probably be one of the stops those electric vehicles suck. You don't have to have a license. You don't have, don't have to know how to drive. Yeah, she just pulled right out in front of a horse. Like an idiot.
cell phone down. Saturday evening, about to check out the market. Come along with me as I get run over. Later in the day, a lot of stuff's probably closed up. But we'll walk through anyways. See what we can see here. Gotta close. Like most markets, the food and stuff is probably in the back. Especially the stinky fish. What not. Supposedly it's open about 6 or 7. It's not even 5 right now. There's your different kind of watermelons. These are a lot smaller. I heard they're heard they're sweet. Lots of melons. Plants, lots of plants. Don't see no Mary Jane. Some veggies there. Are. to see people with fruits and vegetables so we're heading in the right direction never know which way to go in these markets oh 
it looks like upstairs maybe. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. All the veggies. We found the magic second floor. Second floor was where all your veggies, your fish, mango. Veggies. This is all on the second floor of the vegan market. Guess, guess they keep the downstairs for all the clothing and materials. Like I said, it's late in the day, so it's not going to be jam packed with activity. See these all bagged up carrots, green onions. Just like Pong Pong Market and Angeles City, they get the stalls besides the uh, veggie people. Oh yeah, still a lot of veggies. Let's go take a walk through it, Susie. Hello. Take a video of your beautiful vegetables. Then we get it, Angelus, but it seems like cauliflower is the scarce one everywhere. It's pretty good size, you see a lot of it's covered up, a lot of people gone home for a day. Hello! cool these little uh, paintings all the way around it. Let's go this way get the flowers. We'll make this our last part of the video. You always get some nice flowers at the markets. Smells good too. Yeah, smells good. Huh? Flowers. Flower, flower. So many flower. Flower, flower. Hello. Yay. Smells good. Where do we come from? That side. <laughs> he start taking uh, a bunch of turns. It'll be able to tell from here. I I small, small bra? Banana. Oh, banana. <laughs> I was like, what the heck you talking about? <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah. Let's go. 
Nice veggies. Hello. All right, guys. We're getting we're banana shopping, so in this part of the video here. And I uh, will show you some dinner, and that'll wrap up this this uh, second day in vegan. There's another trike in vegan. A little bit different. Everywhere you go, trikes are different. This is a uh, cafe in Leona. Having dinner here. I'd show you the menu, but it's too enormous. It would take like 20 minutes to show you the menu. It's basically local food, Japanese food, Italian food. So, we'll show you the food when it comes out. Local soup, lo mein. That's what the lady got. She's hungry for some soup. Pseudo yakisoba. Looks very, very wet. And we got some lupia Shanghai coming. And that's it, other fancy. It's a simple cucumber salad. And then we got the lupia Shanghai. So that's the meal. Cafe Leona. I'll put the total above the video. I think that's it for this video. Thanks for joining us. Thanks to our subscribers. We'll see you on the next one.